scales cannot be stopped. Trillions of Shiba Inu tokens, hundreds of millions of dollars. And the data suggests that this is just the beginning people are waking up seeing these numbers trying to benefit from this opportunity. But what is actually happening? And how long will this market craze last well? Let's find out disclaimer the market has pivoted to a recovery phase but some altcoins still haven't reclaimed their yearly highs despite Bitcoin spiking above the $71.0 threshold Shiba. Inu is also part of this recovery trend but is facing strong resistance. Due to multiple sell walls, a sell wall occurs when a large number of sell orders are placed at a particular price level, creating a barrier that can be difficult for the price to rise above for. Example, imagine there are 100 zero Shiba Inu tokens available for sale at one penny. If buyers only want to purchase 50 zero tokens at that price, the supply at that level is much higher than that. Demand making it hard for the market to buy the tokens that are available at that price price to move up past one penny. However, there is a way we can surpass these sell walls and achieve new highs for Shiba in you. But before we dive into that, we need to take a look at what's happening. With Bitcoin today has been a literally crazy day for Bitcoin and its impact on Shiba Inu is enormous you. S spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds or ETFs have achieved their longest streak of consecutive net inflows since they launched with 18 straight days of positive flows as of Thursday since launching in January 2021. The price of Shiba Inu has increased by $1.2 billion and the even though the current inflows are still lower than the peak levels in March. According to the Blocks Data Dashboard, the sustained positive net inflows, especially driven by BlackRock, highlight continued strong interest and confidence in Bitcoin among investors. 18 days in a row of positive inflows definitely gives us a bullish sign. It shows that more and more investors are putting their money into crypto, which is some very good news for any crypto enthusiast. But traditional investors aren't the only ones accumulating Bitcoin. Just take a look at this crypto whale. According to a report by Wu Blockchain based on research from CryptoQuant, around $1 billion worth of Bitcoin is being added every day to a massive new whale wallet. In total, long-term holders have amassed 70 zero Bitcoin over the last 30 days with whale demand increasing at a rate of 4.4% per month. And now you might be wondering if 4.4 is a big number. It definitely is. To put it in perspective, if you start with $10,000 and add 4.4% every month in five years, you'd have a lot more than you might expect after five years. That 10000 would grow to around $87,000. This shows how powerful a 4.4% monthly increase can be over time, highlighting the significant impact of the current whale demand on Bitcoin's market, but in addition to that just today. According to CoinGlass data, Bitcoin open interest has reached a new all-time high peak of $37 billion open. Interest refers to the total dollar amount of Bitcoin in the last five years, which is about a third of the total dollar amount of outstanding Bitcoin futures or options contracts. And you might be wondering, is this metric important? Absolutely open interest is a crucial indicator of market sentiment and activity in the futures and options markets. A high level of open interest suggests that there is significant trading activity and interest in Bitcoin derivatives indicating a strong and active market. So while some may have thought that the crypto market is flat and boring right now, it actually isn't the record breaking open interest is a significant indicator of the met market and Bitcoin futures and options demonstrates that there is still plenty of excitement and activity happening in the crypto space. But here's something very interesting, despite the strong in flows and a Bitcoin rally past 71.0 Google Trends data reveals a surprising trend compared to 2021. Hardly any Americans 
are conducting searches related to Bitcoin, Bitcoin, FSITs. Price or crypto in general Google Trends assigns a value out of 100 based on a search interest relative peak popularity. For example, on June 5 searches for Bitcoin originating from the US. Scored only 31 while Bitcoin ETF had a mere one other related searches such as Bitcoin price and crypto received slightly higher index scores of 18 and 13 respectively but still remained significantly below the search volumes during 2021's retail-driven bull run interest in crypto-related searches has dwindled over the year. There were spikes in interest across the board. On January 11th, then, the price of Bitcoin has been rising for the past year, and the price of fee Bitcoin has been all-time high for the first time since 2021. It's noteworthy that search interest for Bitcoin peaked in May 2021, a few weeks after surpassing 50 zero for the first time and just before reaching its long-standing all-time high of nearly 69 zero in November 2021. Crypto analyst Miles Dutcher shared data indicating a significant decline in viewership of crypto-related YouTube. Channels compared to 2021, despite Bitcoin surpassing its previous all-time high in 2021. During Bitcoin's peak, crypto YouTube channels were garnering around 4 million daily views. However, in 2024, despite Bitcoin reaching new highs, daily views have dropped to approximately 800,000. Dutcher emphasized, retail isn't back yet. According to him, there's no better indicator of the current state of the market than crypto YouTube views. This decline in viewership suggests that mainstream retail interest in cryptocurrency has not returned to the level seen during the 2021 bull run, despite Bitcoin's price reaching new heights. But still, with 18 days of Bitcoin ETF inflows and massive whale accumulation, you might wonder... Why hasn't the price skyrocketed yet? Where's the impact of these developments? Well, that's a good question. Analyst Jimmy sheds some light on this. He explains that spot Bitcoin at TEF's worldwide hold. Only about 5% of the total Bitcoin circulating supply, while the majority is held by whales. Jimmy notes that while ETF inflows are indeed significant, they are still minimal compared to the volume of Bitcoin being traded and sold by these large holders. He emphasizes that for every buyer in the market, there needs to be a seller, and the actions of these major players can heavily influence price movements. Even though the price might not react immediately, the recent developments such as 18 consecutive days of inflows into Bitcoin at defs and whales accumulating Bitcoin are still considered bullish. This is because these actions demonstrate a growing interest and confidence in Bitcoin as an asset class among both institutional investors and individual traders. While the price might not reflect these developments right away due to various factors influencing the market, such as short-term speculation and profit-taking, the underlying trend indicates a strengthening foundation for Bitcoin's long-term growth. Essentially, these actions lay the groundwork for future price increases. In the long term, the price of Bitcoin is expected to rise to $1.5 billion, which is a significant increase in the market's day-to-day -day fluctuations. But what about Shiba Inu? Well... If Bitcoin experiences a significant price increase due to recent developments, it will have a massive impact on Shiba Inu. We know that Shiba Inu is highly sensitive to Bitcoin movements and shares a strong correlation with it. Currently, Shiba Inu faces a major obstacle in the form of a massive sell wall, according to Into the Block data. This wall represents a threshold. We're over the top. Over 64,000 addresses collectively hold 69 trillion Shiba Inu tokens, which is over 10% of the entire supply. 
The selling pressure from these addresses often leads to corrections in Shiba Inu's price, as we've seen in recent movements. As a result, Shiba Inu has retraced most of the gains it made during the recent rally. This situation can be frustrating for Shiba Inu investors, as the presence of such a large sell wall can impede its upward momentum. However, Shiba Inu is now aiming to sell Shiba Inu, stabilize above its current price level, and use it as a foundation for a second upward push when bullish sentiment returns. To surpass this immediate sell wall, Shiba Inu would need to confidently close above. Four zeros, 27. But with the potential upcoming push in Bitcoin's price, according to previous patterns, this should significantly benefit Shiba Inu. This is precisely what we need for Shiba Inu to overcome its current challenges and resume its upward trajectory. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then make sure to click on one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.